Jeannie, uh, congratulations. From our side, this looked like a roller coaster. How would you describe it? It was a very tough match, uh, not only physically and tennis-wise, but also, also mentally <clears throat> and emotionally. Um, each point was a battle from the first point. It was really a fight, and uh, I'm just proud that uh, I came out stronger in the end and uh, held it together in the third set. Jeannie, I mean, compared to the first four matches that you've played against Maria, did you feel like going into this one that you felt the most maybe free or that there was less to lose because there's been, you know, a lot of stakes in the other ones? I mean, how did you, what was your mentality going into this match? <clears throat> I definitely had some extra motivation going into today. Obviously, I had never beaten her before. And um, also, given the circumstances, I was actually quite inspired before the match because... Um, I had a lot of players coming up to me privately, wishing me good luck, uh, players I don't normally speak to, and getting a lot of texts from people in the tennis world um, that um, were just rooting for me. Um, so I, I wanted to do it for myself, but also for all of these people. So I, I really felt support. GD, uh, I, was, I was wondering, um, was there a sense on your part that you kind of talk the talk and you need to sort of back it up by walking the walk? Well, it definitely helps when you can back it up. <laughs> um, you know, obviously there was a lot going on besides tennis for, in this match as well. But as soon as I stepped on the court, I uh, really wanted to just make it about tennis and uh, we both did that and just battled our hearts out, I think. Um, so at the end of the day, I think that's the most important and, um, you know, hopefully people enjoyed it and because that's the point of this, right? At the end of the day, we're entertainment. So um, I enjoyed it, although I'll, I'll definitely be a little sore tomorrow. Hi, congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you. Do you still believe that she don't have to compete? I uh, still have the same opinion as I had when I got asked that question before. So, Jeannie, does this feel like one of, uh, at your level, one of the best matches you've played since you tell us, I guess? I think it definitely has to be. Um, at points in the match, I definitely did not feel like uh, the rhythm, like you mentioned roller coaster, there was a little bit of up and down in the match for sure. And, um, you know, I, f I had moments where I was a bit frustrated. I thought I could play better. But overall, um, you know, with the whole mental aspect and, and just fighting and, and uh, playing, you know, almost a three-hour match, the, the physical battles. I mean, she's, she's playing really well right now. So everything together, for sure, it's uh, one of my more prouder matches in the past couple of years. Um, sorry, Judy, can you just tell us... Um, a bit more about when you said players you didn't know coming up to you. What kind of things were they were they saying? I didn't say players that I don't know. I, I know every so you player. you don't normally sort of converse with? Yeah, or um, it, it's just some girls in the locker room were coming up to me and, and really wishing me good luck before matches, which uh, doesn't normally happen to me, or players I don't normally speak to is, is more what I said, um, which <clears throat> showed me that, that most people have my opinion, and they were just maybe scared to speak out um but privately you know i've i've gotten a lot of support so i was inspired and, and motivated to play the other day you were talking about some of the soul searching and the difficulties of the past months that you would that you had and that you went through essentially is it for you sometimes weird how things in terms of having a match like that and coming out on top of a match like that can just come within one week or within within maybe one match even, considering that you also had, like lost at ITF level or many first round exits? Mm -hmm. Well, f for me it hasn't been sudden because I had a, cu a couple of tough months, so it was more than, than just a little bit. So I was, I was working hard that whole time and just waiting for it to come. Okay, it didn't happen this week, it'll happen next week. Okay, it didn't happen this week again, it'll happen next week. And you know, that's the journey of a tennis player. It, it's so tough, but we have the amazing opportunity to have a chance every single week, pretty much. So uh, I've just, I just tried to keep my head up and um, finally saw a little bit of results from 
the hard work I put in coming into play this week, and I just want to build on it. Last couple questions here and here. Yeah, hi. Could you uh, just tell us what actually uh, Maria said at, at the net at the end of at the end of the match, and also, did you f did you feel that her performance was that of a player coming back from 15 months? Uh, she said, "Well played," <clears throat> and uh, I think she's been playing really well in her so-called comeback, if if you want to call it that. Uh, you know, she she was playing well today, so uh, it was tough. Jeannie, uh, uh, your next match is against Kerber. Uh, how do you feel you're going to recover? And in general, sometimes there are letdowns after huge matches. What do you think you want to do to avoid that? Yeah, that's a very valid point. Um, I want to maybe rest my brain a little bit and not think about it too much for uh, tomorrow. I have the day off, which is good. I just want to. I want to go for it. I want to. You know, I'm the underdog by far. So you know, it's it's nice to have this position these past couple of years. Uh, so I want to at least take advantage of that and, and just go for it and, and play good tennis, build on this, and, and enjoy it and kind of just show, you know, what I can do. And, uh, yeah, just go for it. Thank you very much.